In this example, we want to solve an equation and we want to round our answer to two decimal places. So just taking a look at the equation, we can see that the x, the x, the variable that we need to solve for is up in the exponent. And in fact, this is an exponential equation. It has a base, 3, and an exponent that we're trying to uh, solve for it an x that's up in the exponent there. So it's an exponential equation. For an exponential equation, what we want is for the exponential function to be by itself on one side of the equation, which it already is. So we don't want anything adding or subtracting to the exponential part. And if there is, we would add it over to the other side of the equation. But in this example, the exponential function is already isolated by itself on, on one side of the equation, which is good. So what we're going to do to solve for x here is to use logarithm uh, to, um, to solve for x. The uh, exponential function in this case has base 3, but uh, we want to get an approximation to our answer, so I'm going to use one of the logarithms uh, that the calculator can do pretty easily and that's either ln or log, and so I just chose ln in this particular one, but you can also use log if you like that one. Alright, so what I'm going to do is to take the natural log of both sides here. And so what I'm going to do is to use the properties of logarithms, that third property that says if I'm taking the log of a base and an exponent inside the log, that that um, exponent can be brought down out in front of, of the log. So that's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to bring down the exponent that was up here. I'm going to bring it down out in front, and then I'll be left with the ln3 being multiplied times uh, that 5x minus 2. So we use the properties of logarithms to um, pull the exponent down so the x will basically be on the same level here and we can just solve uh, like we would uh, a linear equation basically. So, Alright, so the first thing I'm going to do here is uh, to make this left side a little bit simpler I'm going to take and I'm going to divide both sides by the natural log of 3 here to get that over on the other side. So just divide both sides by natural log of 3, and what I wind up with is 5x minus 2 equals ln 451 divided by ln 3. So sometimes you might be tempted to uh, divide those two numbers, but remember, you, you can't do that. Okay? If you're going to mess with logarithms, you're going to be using one of the three properties, and uh, <clears throat> the three properties... If you look at those, it doesn't say anything about dividing two logs. It talks about adding and subtracting logs. So you might be tempted to um, to try and reduce that, but but you really can't. So there are sort of two options that you have at this point. One of them is to just go ahead and plug ln 451 divided by ln 3 into your calculator and get some kind of approximation for that. It's roughly around 5.5629. And so what you could do is just replace that whole right-hand side by this um, approximation right here. Make, if you're going to do it that way, make sure that you take enough decimal places, right? We want um, our answer to have two, uh, to round to two decimal places. So at least take a couple of extra decimal places there. So you have to be kind of careful about that when you're dealing with logs and exponential functions. So. I'm going to take the alternate approach and I'm just going to deal with this expression right here and have a more complicated expression at the end, an exact expression, and plug that into the calculator. So, just to illustrate that. Okay, so looking at the equation, I have 5x minus 2 equals ln 451 divided by ln 3. To solve for x, what I'm going to do is just take and add 2 to both sides to move that 2 over to the other side. So add 2 to both sides, and I'll wind up with 5x equals ln 451 uh, divided by ln 3 plus 2. Again, there's no real way to combine that stuff there or simplify it. All 
All right, looking at the equation now, um, all I've got to do is to divide, to get x by itself on the one side of the equation is to divide both sides by 5. So that's what I'm going to do, or multiply by 1 fifth. Either way is fine. Just chose to divide both sides by 5. So over on the left-hand side, I'll wind up with x. And over here, I'll have this compound, our complex fraction, ln 451 divided by ln 3 plus 2 divided by 5. So to get my final answer, what I need to do is to um, enter that expression into the calculator and see what it gives me and round the two decimal places. So uh, remember, if you have a little trouble entering this into the calculator, just you can do it step by step um, and round off. If you have a um, graphing calculator, you can you can pretty much enter this uh, just like it reads there. Um, but if you're not getting the right answer doing that, then you might want to try step by step until you can um, enter the whole expression at once um, accurately. So just remember, if you if you're having trouble using your calculator, try it step by step and, and see if you can figure out where you're going wrong. Um, okay, so when I enter this into the calculator, I get uh, to two decimal places, it's about 1.51.